If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey guys, welcome back to another deck profile. And today we're gonna to be going over the Youth Burke trial deck update. You got your hands on your Youth Burke trial deck and you wanna see what you can do to update it and make it more competitive up until we get to DBT06. So this is before we have the new stuff in the new set. So I just wanna keep that in mind. And this is basically what my deck for the Youth Burke trial deck update looks like. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. Starting off with our ride deck. Our, our starter is the starter from the trial deck, which is Youth. So it's like the same as all the other ones. You just, you know, draw a card if you go in second, basically. So then we go into our grade one, which is Determined Breakaway Youth. So what this one does is during the battle that this attack, this gets an extra 2k, van and rear. And then when it's rode upon by Ardent Light Youth, the grade two, you soul blast one, look at top three, choose a card with Youth Burke in its name and put it in your hand, or you can choose a grade two or less and call to rear. So you, you get a card regardless, so that's really helpful. So it's nice to have that for the, the guarantee in the ride line. For the grade two, got Ardent Youth, so this is the grade two for the ride line. Uh, when this is wrote upon by a card with the Revel Dress ability, you can blast one, choose a grade two or greater from the drop, put it in your hand. So this works if you want to discard your Revel Form card, so that way you can add it back to your hand. And then the second skill is when it is boosted, you can solve last one and it gets an extra 5k, so that's if you want to throw it into the, the main deck as well. But it's mostly there so that you can guarantee a, a card back in your hand, which is nice for the main boss of our ride deck, which is Youth Burke, Protofall Arms. So this first skill says that it, uh, when it's rode upon it, also, it's also as regarded as Skyfall Arms, so we can still get the Persona ride when we have DBT06 when that comes out. And then the main skill is Rebel Dress. At the end of the battle that this attack, you choose a card with Rebel Form in its name from your hand, and you ride it as Stand onto your Vanguard Circle, and it gets Drive minus two. So you don't get any drive checks when you go into Rebel Form Zest, but you get an extra Vanguard attack. The second skill is Rear Guard Circle. If you have a Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard that was placed this turn, this gets an extra 5k, so that way you can still uh, call this to a Rear Guard Circle with the extra car copies in your deck if you want to. So that's pretty much it for the ride deck. So now we're gonna jump into our main deck, starting off with the other three copies of our Protofall Arms. So this way we have our full play set. Just went over the skill, so we're doing it so we can have Persona Ride. And it also has a really good rear guard skill, but we're mostly doing it for the Persona Ride. So we run three more copies. And then for the Rebel Form card, four copies of that, we got Youth Burke Rebel Form Zest. So what Rebel Form Zest does is when this is placed in the Vanguard Circle by the Rebel Dress ability, it gets an extra 15k. And if you've Persona Ridden this turn, it gets an extra crit. Uh, the second skill is at the end of your turn, you choose a card with the Rebel Dress from your soul and you ride it as rest. So that's the way you go back into, into Youth Perk, the Protofall Arms. So we're running four copies just so that you can, you know, maximize your, your Rebel Dress abilities, you know, just so that you can see it throughout the game. Lastly, I am doing something a little bit different. I decided I'm going to run two copies of the Holy Judgment Order. This was in the Bastion Trial deck. This was also reprinted in the... Uh, in the festival collection from 2020, 2021, I believe. Um, so what this does is you can pack kind of blast two to draw two cards and then choose one of your units and give it 5k until the end of your turn. So I'm mostly running this because this deck doesn't use too much counter blast. So I'm kind of taking advantage of this, that to get some draw out of it. We don't run a lot of grade threes, so we can't really run Al Alden for the draw, but this does make for a good temporary use. Um, so I do like this as a grade three order, but only running two just because it is two counter blasts, which is a lot. So we don't want to eat up too much of our counter blasts. So that was it for grade threes. Now we're going on to grade twos. I have four copies of Cadwalia. Uh, in the trial deck, this comes at two. So you will have to pick up two extra ones if you're doing this based off the trial deck. So keep that in mind. So what Cadwalia does is rear guard circle the end of the battle that this unit attacked. Vanguard, if you have four more of the four more units total, you can soul blast one, retire this, look at the top three, choose a grade two or greater and add it to your hand. And if you didn't reveal a card, you can draw a card afterwards. 
Uh, you do shuffle after you look at the top three, so that's another thing to keep in mind, but this is just a really good card to help you find your your Rebel Form cards. This is also really good just to kind of help you find some decent grade twos. So this is just a really good uh, filter and searcher card. So we definitely want to run four. It's a great card. And it's going to be useful in the deck when set six comes out as well. So we want to make sure we have those copies. The grade two pool, um, I try to keep it simple just because, you know, we only have about like two weeks or depending on when you're watching this. Uh, we're coming up really close to DBT06. For now, I'm just kind of running, not really going to go out and look for too many cards, but we're just going to keep something simple and then we'll update it later. So what this is, this is the trial deck card that came full playset from the box. Uh, it is Knight of Partings, Log Loigru. <laughs> what it does is when your Vanguard is placed uh, from the Rev Adjustability, you can kind of blast, give this 10k. So 10k is really good. So if you want to give your front row a really good buff, you can do the kind of boss for that. So that's why I decided I want to run it at four. That way, when you're doing all your extra attacks, you have all these big numbers your opponent has to deal with. So the deck has a, a little bit of an issue with making a board, but if you can have a board with a lot of power, you can kind of make up for it in that way. So that's why I decided I want to run it four. Next up, I'm running two copies of Maple. So Maple is a Thurgrea card, but it's still really good. So what this does, when your grade three or greater Vanguard is placed during the ride phase, if you do not have a Maple on the field, you can call this from drop zone to regret circle. So the reason I like this is because if you persona ride, you, you discarded this, you can just call it right back. Or when you ride into um, youth protofall, just for the turn, you can discard this as fodder and call it back. The reason we're only running the two is because you, it only works when you either ride or persona ride. It does not work for the rebel dress, unfortunately, because it has to be during the ride phase. You can only call a maple if you do not have a maple on the board already. So that's why we're kind of limiting down to two, but it's still a really good card just for a free call. Lastly, for grade twos, I am running the card, the order card that came in the trial deck. It is Skyfall Fury. So what this does is you can kind of blast one, you search for Zest and you add it to your hand. So this is really good if you just have this in hand and you really, you're missing Zest, you can just search for it for a counterblast. It's decent, but for the most part, it's it's just kind of like a throwaway card just for space. We're gonna be getting more Rebel, uh, Rebel form cards in the next set. So this is just a temporary spot in the meantime. And then now we're moving on to our grade ones. This card is gonna be a staple when sex set six drops as well, so we're running it now. So what Painkiller does, it's really simple. It's at the end of the battle, this boosted, you soul blast one, you retire this, you draw a card. So helping you filter through your deck, draw more cards, get more zests, draw into protofall for persona ride, you know, it's just a draw. You know, so it's a really good card for the deck. For my next grade one, I'm only doing this as a two of, just because I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do until the the set comes out, but for now I'm just doing two copies of Tier Square Sorceress. This is the grade one from the Hexor Bride line, but it has another skill that's actually pretty decent. So what it does is Counterblast 1. When your drive check reveals a trigger unit, you can pay the cost, and then you choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards, and you put it at the bottom of their deck. So this is really good against decks like Nirvana, or maybe even Bastion, if they have something in the front row that is kind of annoying, you just want it to go away, instead of having to waste an attack for it, you can, you know, get a trigger, counter blast one, put it back in the bottom of their deck. So it's a control card, but it's kind of like if it happens, it happens, but it's mostly just to have good boosters with skills, so that's why I'm running, running it. So it's a decent card, so I figured I'd try it out. Then next up for grade ones, three copies of Aegis Smear Dragon. This is our PG. So this one is the, if you have two or more cards in your hand, you have to discard for the cost. But if you have one or less in hand, you do not have to discard for the cost. So that's why we're taking out the generic trial deck PGs for this. And then we're running the one copy of the order. So uh, you can only run one copy of this in a deck anyways. It says right there, you can only run one copy of Elementaria Synctitude. What it does is if your opponent's Vanguard has triple drive, this ability can be placed without paying the cost, so you don't have to discard. So, but it's the same as a PG. You play this into the order zone, you discard a card from your hand for your opponent's grade three. If your opponent's vanguard is grade three or less, you can choose one of units and it cannot be hit. Or if your vanguard, I apologize. If your vanguard is grade three or less, 
You choose one of your units and it cannot be hit until the end of that battle. And then you remove this card. So we're not running Great Force, so that's why this is a, a great card to run. It gets around guard restricts, so if your opponent has cards, we're gonna say you have to guard two or three at a time uh, from hand. You're not guarding, this is going into the order zone, so nothing's going into the guard circle. And it's free against Great Force. So that's really, really helpful. So we definitely want to run it. It came in the trial deck anyway, so that was really nice. So this is our uh, our Sentinel lineup. All right, now we're on to our triggers, starting off with the over trigger. So we're running the Armor to Noah from DBT01. This is also getting reprinted in set six, which is nice. So it's good to have the, the nation over triggered back. What this one does is the additional effect is your rear guards also perform drag checks. So that's really helpful. I know it's also nice to have the trial deck one just to give your vanguard or both your rear guards a hundred million. Uh, but I do like this one just because it helps you get more drag checks. And then there might be occasions where you want to call your protofall to rear guard circles just for beat sticks and then they can have drag checks. Over triggers are, uh, are fair and balanced. Uh, next up, four copies of Blade Feather Dragons. This is a crit that we're running. This is from set three. I believe these are getting reprinted in DBT07. So what this one does at the end of the battle with this boosted, you move to soul, give another unit 2k. We do use a lot of soul in this deck, so it can be helpful just to boost with this, just to, you know, soul charge. And also we have with our right, with our right line, we look at the top cards of our deck and we call things. So if you call this, this could be a decent booster just to move them to the soul later for cost. So there's that option instead of, you know, calling a vanilla trigger. And then next up for our triggers, I am running the four copies of the front all pack. So you could do crits instead, but I decided I'm gonna do fronts. So what this front does is if your opponent's vanguard is greater or greater, this gets another 5k shield. So 20k shield, we don't really generate that much resources other than like one card at a time maybe, and Painkiller is kind of like a net zero in that way. So having extra shield in hand to protect yourself is welcomed, uh, but also front triggers are just really good when you're going doing your um, your youth break turn because you can get a front, do your rebel dress, uh, swing a van, and then your rear guards are still getting that power from the initial twin drive. So this is, fronts are still really good in that regard because you can't really give the crit to your vanguard. You're gonna ride a new unit anyway, so. But either way works. It depends on your play style. I like, I like the fronts. For our next trigger, we're doing three copies of the draw, Pro, Proroby, I think is his name. So what this does, same thing as the front, your opponent's banker is great for the rear, 5k shield. It's just a really good draw, 10k shield draw. So we're getting more shield, damage on draw, uh, damage checks is really good, you know, just to get more hands so that we can get our, uh, our rebel form cards. And then last but not least, our heal triggers. So I'm doing three of the one that came in the trial deck for the vanilla, and then one of the festival collection heal. So this is Heartless Tier Sorceress. So what this does is when it's placed on Guard Circle, if the attacking unit's crit is two or greater and it was increased from a non-trigger ability, basically it's if they get an extra crit that's not from a trigger. That's just like summarized. Um, it gets an extra 15k shield. So this is good against Bad Zarga, Feral Magnes. Uh, it can be good against Bruce. These are just the, the decks on the top of my head that increase their crit from card effects. So this way you can get that extra shield during those attacks and you know that way you're not getting blown out of the water from all these extra damage you're gonna be taking. You can run the other heal instead, the one where uh, it gets shield if your opponent's rear guard uh, attack more than once. It's all really up to preference. This is just what I'm working with for now. It could totally change up later. I might go one and one and then two of the vanillas. But just make sure you're running your four heals <laughs> at the end of the day. So that was pretty much it for the death profile. I'm really hoping to get some like temporary some games with this soon. I might just hold off to show a game until we get set six so that we can have this deck at its full potential. But for now, the deck seems really interesting. I'm really excited to see what the will dress format brings and if it's gonna be the power creep that standard kind of needs just to keep it more interesting. A lot of people overseas that have had this format for a while now have been saying that it's a lot of fun and it's the, the most fun they've had in Vanguard in a while. So I'm actually looking forward to it. So that's it for the deck profile. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.